This is Michelle Sullivan. I'm in Vancouver at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference where I spoke with Dr. Dana Hilt about EVP6124, an investigational drug that seems to improve cognition in Alzheimer's patients. Dr. Hilt, can you tell us a little bit more about this new compound and how it's affecting the different um, memory domains and functional domains in the testing? Certainly, so this is EVP6124, alpha-7 agonist, and so it has effect predominantly in this milder group of patients on memory, verbal, memory recall, uh, the digit substitution task. So these are the things that are most sensitive in the milder groups of patients, and it has about a two to two and a half point effect on the ADAS-COG, and we looked at this in a group of patients both on acetylcholinesterase inhibitors and not on acetylcholinesterase mm -hmm. inhibitors. And at the end of the study, you mentioned that um, the treatment, the placebo and the treatment group were continuing to diverge. Mm -hmm. Does that give you some hints about what might happen in an extension right. trial? So someone has to, we have to be very cautious about this, but I think that on multiple endpoints, the ADAS-COG, the cognition composite, the memory composite, the curves are actually diverging and the slopes are different at the end of six months. So I think I'd be, feel most comfortable phrasing this as a question. What's going to happen after six months? And I think it's incumbent on us then to study the drug for a longer period of time. So this drug is being developed as a, as a pro-cognitive symptomatic drug, but if the curves are diverging and the slopes are different, is there something more fundamental going on? And so we really need to investigate this and, and do another experiment. But certainly, at the very least, it appears to have you know, cognitive clinical benefit at six months. Could this be magnified over 12 months or longer because the curves are divergent? We have to study that. Is there any biological reason to think that it could be a disease-modifying drug? Yeah, so if you look in the literature and you look up alpha-7 agonist and you do a search for amyloid, you'll see there's a number of papers published about how alpha-7 agonists can modulate the deposition or metabolism of amyloid. Alpha-7 agonists have anti-inflammatory effects and there's clearly neuroinflammation is one of the mechanisms of progression in Alzheimer's disease. So there are a number of potential mechanisms by which this type of drug, this, this target, could potentially alter the overall course of the disease. But we have to be cautious about that and we have to do some experiments and determine whether or not that might be the case. And the next step? The next step for us, given these what we think are pretty strong results is a phase three trial or phase three program. So we intend to design that, have discussions with regulatory authorities and initiate that in the first half of next year.